Why would God, Deacon Davis, why would God put doors down here instead of windows? Because he's really trying to get you to know some stuff. You're working too hard to get. I opened the door. I made it easy for you. In this setting, I've set before you an open door. You got adversaries, but then I've set before you an open door, and all you got to do is walk in. You don't need keys. All you need to do is just have enough faith and sense to walk in the door. He said, then stop worrying about it. You, you ain't got to worry about who's going to shed this one. I know they got a title, but they can't shed it. I know they got money, but they can't shed it. I know they think they got a little prestige and power, but they can't shed it. I hear you, Holy Ghost. And don't ever let nobody fool you just because there's a delay walking through the door. Don't mean that the door is closed. Lord, I almost. Deal, I'm, I'm going to be there in just a minute. I'm going to be right about there because I feel that one. Because that went over somebody's head. They almost caught that. So I got to run that past you one more time. I said, just because there is a delay does not mean that the door is shut. Some of you, I got to encourage you because it looked like God is Open many doors. And all of a sudden. But I feel that old time. Now. I said all of a sudden. It looks like you. Uh, are saying to yourself. But God have you forgotten about me. Look like God I've been doing all you told me to do. And nothing seemed to be coming together. But God would have me to tell you to look at the door again. You see, sometimes just because the door not wide open don't mean it's not open. You got to check it. Dear, you better hit me. You got to check it and see, is it open? You see, some of you, you stop checking the door because somebody convinced you that the door was closed. You didn't see no sunlight. You didn't see any view. And you said to yourself, this door has got to be closed. But the Lord would have me to tell you, go and check it again because the door has already been set and the door is open to you and what you've got to do you've got the purpose in your heart that I'm going in the door and I wonder do I have any witnesses here as I get ready to leave you today do I have anybody that believe that the Lord has already opened the door this is the year of the open door I know it's just a few more months left but tell yourself it's my year of the open door. There's some things I'm getting ready to walk into. The balance of the year. In the latter part of the year, I'm going to walk in the door. In the latter part of the year, I'm getting ready to step in to an open door. And I want the world to know I'm changing my focus. I'm not going to focus on who can shut the door. I'm not going to focus. Y'all better help me preach it. I'm not going to focus on who can open the door. Because I came to realize when I read the Bible that no man can open it. And no man can shed it. I want to tell you if you're going to be encouraged, be encouraged in this. That the only one that's opening doors is the Lord. He's opening doors for you. He may use somebody to open it for you. But at the end of the day, it's still God. He's still making ways. 
he's still opening doors. Lean on somebody and tell them, neighbor, tell them God is still opening doors. Tell them God is still the one that's making the way. So what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there? I feel like preaching, y'all. Are you going to sit there? Are you going to pout? Are you going to sit there? Are you going to be indifferent? Are you going to sit there and let your circumstances take you under? Or are you going to get up and make the first step? Are you going to get up and walk through the door? I heard somebody say it was an old thing. I believe it was a Christmas song that they had years ago on those old cartoons and animated cartoons. I can't remember if it was Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, but I never forget it. As a little boy, they had a song on one of those things and they said put one foot in front of the other and soon you'll be walking across the floor. Put one foot in front of the other and soon you'll be walking through the door. Look at somebody and tell them I dare you to put one foot in front of the other. Soon you'll be walking across the floor. Put one foot in front of the other and soon you'll be walking through the door. Tell somebody I'm getting ready to walk through the door. I'm getting ready to step in. There's a door open. There's a door of blessing open. There's a door of abundance open. There's a door of success open. There's a door of prosperity open. There's a door of more than enough. There's a door that's been open to you. What you going to do? Are you going to get up? Are you going to stop looking at the door? Are you going to get up and walk on through? I need somebody that's ready to walk through the door. I need somebody that's ready to tell yourself, I, I'm walking in. I, I'm stepping in. I, I'm moving in here. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. I got to quit. But there's a door open to you. Look at somebody and tell them there's a door that's open to you. Yes, it is. He's got a door. He's just waiting on you. As I told you earlier, some of you, amen, you think you're waiting on God and God is saying, no, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. I set this door beginning of the year. I set this door. I set it months ago. I set this door. I set it weeks ago. And I'm waiting on you to walk through it. Some of you, it's time for you to get up. It's time for you. Walk by faith, not by sight. Walk in. He's got great miracles. Walk in. He's got great blessings. Walk in. There's great things in front of you. If you walk in, he's ready to do it. What you've been praying about is in the door. What you've been believing him for is in the door. If you walk in, you will find he's got peace in there. If you walk in, you will find he's got joy in there. If you walk in, you will find he's got abundance in there. Walk in and watch him move. Walk in and watch him work. Walk in and watch him do it. He'll do more than he's ever done. If you walk in, tell yourself, when I get in here, no man can shed it. No man can pull me out. No man can block me. No man can stop me. No man can hinder me. 
have, I'm walking in. I, have, I got to go in. I, I got to get in. Say yes. 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 I'm through. But tell them the door is open. And don't worry about it. Tell them no man can shut the door. Well, y'all, I got to stop. But I'm so sick and tired of people. Yes, that's what I said. And you sick and tired too. You just don't have the nerve to say it. But I'm so sick and tired of people. Why y'all looking at me like that? That's what you want to say, but I got the mic, so I'm going to say it for you. I'm so sick and tired of people that think they got control, that think they believe if I don't give you a word, if I don't push for you, if I don't call your name, that you won't get it. But tell the devil you a lying wonder. The last I checked, God told me he was the one that was opening doors. He was the one that was making ways. And all I need to do is I don't need to worry whether you're going to give me a recommendation, I don't need to worry. Whether you're going to tell me, I'm going to back you up. All I need to know is discern and see. Is it God opening the door? If it's God, I'm just going to walk in. If it's God, I'm stepping in. Because any door he opens, it's a great door. Any door he opens, it's a a blessing in it door he opens it's a miracle I'm going in yes 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 